Hey guys, uh, Simon Power here with a just a little uh, guitar lesson video. Um, I'm just going to do uh, the intro of a song called Power to Love by Jimi Hendrix. Um, so this is uh, one of the tunes off the band The Gypsies live record, which is uh, one of my favourite live records. So I thought I'd get into it. Um, I figured out the, uh, the intro, which is just the first 20 seconds of the tune. Uh, and we're just going to look at that today. Um, so I, I transcribed uh, this intro a couple of days ago. Um, here is a little transcription. You probably can't see this too well, but I'll just maybe just give you a little look. You can pause it there. I'm going to go through it. Oh. I'll go through it properly now, but just in case you're more one of those people who needs to see the tab, you can pause that. Okay, and have a look. Uh, I don't know if you can read too well, my writing isn't the, uh, the neatest, but anywho. Uh, okay, right, so this is a really cool, uh, really cool little bit of guitar. Um, it's all pentatonic, all in the B minor pentatonic. Uh, just really great kind of lead playing, lots of cool different kinds of bends. Uh, it's a good, it's a good uh, little piece to get into if you want to work on your on, on your bends and your vibrato and things like that. Um, okay, so let me just play it for you. Um, I'm playing a half step down to match the recording. I'm also a little bit flat as well, just a little bit even further flat than half half step down, just to match the recording because I was playing along. Uh, and yeah, I'm using the out of phase pickup, but that's just because it's it's the least noisy pickup. So, um, I think Hendrix would probably be using the treble pickup. I I guess not sure about that, but uh, if you want to match the recording, maybe playing the treble. I'm just using the uh, the out of phase the the sort of the the trebly out of phase pickup just because it's less noisy. Um, okay, I'm gonna give this a go. Right. <coughs> Okay. All right, so that's 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 the part. Um okay, that's at a full speed. Uh let me play it again at half speed. Um also, I'm gonna maybe play along. Uh, I'll see, here we go. That's the tune at half speed. Um, okay, right, so I'm just gonna get a little bit deeper then into what's happening in each bar. Um, one thing I'll sort of pay attention, try and pay attention to is just with each bend, what's going on. Um, when I was playing there, I probably wasn't exactly uh, matching what Hendrix is doing all the time, but I'm, I'm trying to, but um, uh, anyway, I'll go through, I'll go through those bends. The thing is, there's a lot of different kinds of bends. This is something which a uh, beginner or intermediate guitarist might haven't got, got a full appreciation yet of, which is that there's a lot of different kinds of bends. Uh, so for instance, if I'm here on the 10th fret on the B string, I can bend up a whole tone. Okay, and I can just bend up and just keep the, the, the note at that pitch. Or I can bend it up and add a vibrato. Okay, I can also bend up and then release, you know. I can also pre-bend the note and then release, uh, uh, you know. There's so many different types of bends. Uh, also sometimes, even, even just with a normal bend, like a normal bend up. 
like I can do a, a bend up which slowly gradually bends up or I can do one that bends up really quickly or I can do a bend uh, which yeah like pre uh, or, or I can do a pre-bend so um, in this we have loads of different kinds of, of, of bends and if you pay attention to them it really brings the part to life so um, okay the first uh, the first bar we just play uh, a B chord uh, a B major chord okay so that's, uh, that's another thing maybe to make a note of there's major chords being used here but there's but uh, melodically it's all minor it's all minor pentatonic that's a feature you'll see a lot in Hendrix's music which is minor melodies being played over major chords okay so here we go just a, a B major chord um, like that just uh, just playing the from the low E to the B strings I'm not I'm not playing the high E string in this chord okay then uh, okay so that's a B chord on the seventh fret on the up, up at the seventh position um, okay then nine on uh, nine on G seven on B seven on E this is kind of like our sort of, this is like a very common little sort of Jimmy Page or Chuck Berry lick. Okay, so um, we do nine, seven, seven. And then this bend, okay, this first bend is an interesting bend. You bend up pretty quickly and then you, re and I would have, I would have thought this was like a, like a bend with a vibrato, but it's not. It's a bend with a little bit of a gradual release. So uh, it's like, woo, well, it's hard to say. Uh, like that, okay. Then we have this. Something like that. It's, uh, so uh, again, so this is a nine on the G, but with a pre-bend. And then nine, uh, just normal, and then seven on the G with a, little, a slight bend, and then nine on the D. Again, this type of thing, I would have played that like, but he's here, he's playing a, and this is the pre-bend. Hendrix uses pre-bends a lot, and they're actually uh, a real kind of, kind of, it's a really cool thing in his playing. You'll hear it in All Along the Watchtower. Right there, that was the pre the pre bands were there. Okay, so that sounds a lot different than if you go whole different thing. Um. Okay, so the next bar is this. Okay, so that's the B chord again. Then seven seven. B, uh, G and B, 9-9, nine, nine, B and G, these are all on B and G, 9-9, nine, 9-9 nine, nine, nine with a little bend, then 9-9, 7-7, 9-9, nine, nine, seven, seven, nine, nine. okay, then A string, 7, hammer to 9, then 7 on D, 7 on 9, uh, and then 7 on G with a little bend, uh, 9 on D. Okay, the next bar is this. Okay, so this is like the first bar, uh, but just uh, it's similar but kind of uh, but uh, similar but a little bit different. So we start with the B, then we get our little uh, Jimmy Page lick. I always I always think that of as a Jimmy Page thing, uh, even though loads of guitarists do it, but. For, I always associate it with Jimmy Page because there's sometimes you hear him going like So that lick for me is always Jimmy Page lick. Okay, so in this we got chord, Jimmy Page lick, then a bend on the high E string from ten up. The trick with this, okay, is that after uh, after this note here, seven on high E you go to this note right away, like real quick. It's almost like rushed. 
Okay, and so he gets to this next note really quick, and then he bends it, and then the bend is like a quick bend. Remember I said earlier on about there's different kinds of bends? So unlike a slow gradual bend, it's not that, it's the opposite. It's a quick bend, and then he holds it up at the pitch quite uh, for as long as possible. I think without a vibrato. Then we have this. Okay, this this to me reminds me of BB King. Uh, so that's 10 7, 10 7 on the high E string. And then a vibrato. Right, then uh, then the bass player and drummer uh, play the first on the first beat of the next bar, they go bump. Uh, and then Hendrix goes. Okay, so that is 7 on E. 7-10, oh sorry, 7 on B, 10 on B, 9 on G, 7 on B, 9 with a little bend on G, then 7, G, 9, D, 7 on G, with a little bend, okay, then the next bar, okay, we get to this, uh, we get to this little section here, where we're going to go. Okay, with this section, it's 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 uh, it's like constant, I guess, semi quavers. Da 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 da. That's the key to it. When I was playing this section first, I kept on playing some of those notes too long. And like that type of thing, but it's not. If you listen closely, he's it's always this constant down picking. Um, okay, so for that, that is seven on A, hammer to nine, seven on D, then uh, these are on the D and G strings. 9, 9, 7, then 9 on A, 9 on D, then 7, 7, D and G, 9 on A, 7 on D, then these are on the D and G strings, 9, 9, 7, 9. Okay, then you take that rephrase, you repeat most of it. Uh, until you get to the last couple of notes, and then instead you go 9-9 nine, nine on D, then 7-7, seven, seven, uh, sorry, 9-9 nine, nine, DG, 7-7 seven, seven, DG, 9 on A, and then you end with a big C chord. Okay. Okay, if you want another little look at that section, that's, uh, that's it there. Again written out kind of messy but you maybe you might be able to work it out from that uh, okay um right that's that part done um let me know if you enjoyed this video uh and if there's any other little hendrix things you'd like me to explore please leave a comment uh about that below thanks very much